when you've got this huge demand, you create a hole, somebody's going to find a way to fill it. And yes. Airbnb has come to that fore. And kudos to them. Mm. It, um, you know, it's part of what they call the new economy where you use already existing resources. You don't have to go in, you know, build new things. You've already got something available. And these little industries are created because you, you're using what you've got at hand. And mm. Airbnb fits into this um, new economy model very, very well. So it's, it's providing some access, like around a thousand rooms are now available in Fiji. It's a humongous amount. Right. Uh, and probably many people don't realize how many we actually have available. But if you can't get a hotel room, that is your alternative. Yes. It's providing uh, obviously some, some great uh, revenue for the ho uh, homeowners, which, you know, and, and why not? But it does a couple of other things as well yes. that's probably not a good thing for a small economy like Fiji. Um, we're worrying about it on the uh, industry side because we're a very, very regulated, heavily regulated industry. Yes. Um, this, uh, 10 years ago, uh, right up to only a few years, in fact, um, the industry was the only industry paying 25% taxes, whereas yes. everybody else was paying nine. Mm -hmm. um, it's also, um, very, very aware uh, that it needs to be compliant because you're dealing with overseas visitors all the time. Right. You want to make sure that your safety requirements are mm. up there with the best. And we're competing with people around the world. So right. you have to make sure that you do it right. Mm. So not just safety, but you know, you're competing on every level in terms of your, 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 your rooms, your, the, the type of things that you want to be able to uh, offer. Right. that the visitor can find anywhere else around the world. You must match it, if not better it. So we've got all that regulations that are required as part of a compliant industry, something yes. that FHTA must uh, consistently remind our members to do uh, and share and uh, create awareness and even do training around it to make sure that everybody's uh, on board with it. And then you've got uh, Airbnb offering the 1,000 rooms with absolutely no regulations. Uh, and and you, Airbnb can say, look, we, you know, they have to abide by our requirements and standards. And that's all very well. But there's a whole lot of revenue probably going overseas because yes. the owners of those properties aren't necessarily here, right. even if they're local. Right. Um, and then you've got um, entire um, local councils who aren't getting any kind of um, um, what do you call uh, feed in to the systems that everybody else is in terms of whether you're paying taxes or levies or fees for right. you know for your for your property on top of that our real concern apart from it being not as regulated as the the, uh, the accommodation uh, providers are is the fact that there's no accountability in terms of what happens if a visitor um, takes ill, falls down, or there's an accident of some sort. Yes. And what we found, uh, and so that people think, okay, you know what, Airbnb will take care of it, but as you and I know, if you happen to know the owner of the Airbnb and you go, hey, bro, can I uh, uh, use, your, okay. use your place for, you know, next week and yeah. can you give me mates rates, and you have a problem with it uh, because yeah. you don't think that he provided mm. you the kind of service or mm. somebody uh, mm. had a bad accident mm. uh, at the place while you were there, mm. Where are you taking your issues to? And yes. usually they come to me right. or, or the yeah. Consumer Council or yeah. FCCC and the three of us go, well, yeah. you know, we're not what sure. Way? What do we what do? do, do? This one falls through the cracks. Right. And it, it worries us because right. what if there's a really big issue? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and how are we going to see? Because no one's going to say, hey, you know, you need to remember that they were at an Airbnb and that's why that accident happened. No, all it is will be, and probably on the Feature Times for, the, for that matter, yeah. that, oh, a visitor has been badly hurt. You know, right. what is the tourism industry doing in terms of safety? So that is always going to be our concern. Mm -hmm. And so we're just saying to, and, and we've had this conversation with uh, FRCS, we've had this conversation uh, with the Ministry of Tourism to say, Somebody needs to make sure that that gap is closed somewhere. Yes. Somebody needs to take uh, take it a little bit on board in terms of who is going to be the enforcing ag agency for whether you're going to consider regulating them, whether you're going to consider um, taxing them in some way. And look, we've had people come to us to say, we want to do the right thing. We want to open our place right. as an Airbnb. 
what are the licenses that we need to pay for, what do we need to do? Right. And there isn't anything that we can give to them. So we need that. So we need, we that. need that. So th th yes. we're saying that there is a gap there. People want to do the right thing, mm -hmm. but that, that has not been made available. So, mm -hmm. and, and it's something that we have constantly said to the different agencies within the government to say that it is not often appreciated that the industry has you know, moved at a lightning speed yes. and the regulations and legislations and policies that, um, that it must abide by have, have not kept, kept up with it. Right. 